welcome to my story called Billy Goat Gruff. Vicon, motion, capture. Welcome to my story.
Dimension approached us to work on this Akuma project and uh, shared the, the brief with us and we were really excited obviously. So it was a real opportunity for us to get back in the studio and to really kind of get back to what we enjoy which is really doing motion capture. So Akuma is really exciting for us, it brings together two companies at the top of their game, uh, Vicon on the, on the motion capture side and then Dimension on the real time and, and virtual world creation and together you know we're really interested in exploring how we can collaborate to create new types of of content using you know, these technologies together. From the very, very start, Rob is creative director, so he was able to kitbash his world um, using the Epic Marketplace as a, as a source of material to, to help him kind of understand framing, composition, style, setting, lighting, environment, atmospherics. The decision was made very early on that we would not rely on stock animation, we would need original driven motion capture and we immediately went to Vicon for that because we have a pre-existing relationship with them and the work they produce is exceptional. Akuma comes from really a, a company-wide desire at Dimension to make um, original content using the Unreal Engine. It's, it's the reason I joined the company and something like Akuma is, is something that I've wanted to do for a long time but that I was limited in our capabilities of producing characters at a speed where we could do these projects in small stints. Um, but that all changed when Unreal announced MetaHumans. It's mixing a couple of technologies we're looking at at the minute. Uh, performance capture, so we're capturing the face and the body and the fingers all together and then also looking at digital humans um, alongside virtual production techniques like camera tracking. So we came to the realisation with the release of MetaHuman that we could do it now. We could produce these original films that we've talked about in Unreal um, because that whole lengthy process of character creation, which is a company we do very well, but it is a lengthy process, suddenly came down to nothing. And we could have instantaneous characters running in real time with facial capture built in, um, mocap all set up in such a way that rather than a six month pipeline of character creation, it took me an hour in the MetaHumans Creator tool. And I was suddenly churning out each of these characters for this story. So, I mean, we just kind of decided to go for it. What's really exciting about the work we're doing on Akuma is it's bringing together our experience of um, leveraging Unreal Engine for story creation and the creation of cinematic content with their new MetaHumans pipeline to create a new short film uh, in conjunction with, with Vicon. So here at Vicon we have a plugin that streams directly into Engine and the key thing here for us is being able to retarget the animation from the actor directly onto the MetaHuman skeleton in Shogun, in, in the Vicon software, and then we can stream that into Unreal Engine, and that allows you to give a one-to-one -one mapping between the different characters. So, so in the performance piece, you'll see the two actors have been scaled and fit to the marker cloud, and then that data's kind of fitted onto the skeletons of the metahumans. So Unreal Engine is just like, it's, it's a way of visualizing the characters, you know, you get all the benefits, you get real-time lighting, you can adapt, you can kind of move the shots around, and it really gives you that freedom. And it's just been able to very seamlessly transition from Vicon into Unreal. That's the key for us. This real-time technology allows someone like Rob to, to create his own movie, right? To create, to create his own story as he sees it. Now with this technology, because you're removing the offline process of rendering frames, you can turn around things like lighting studies, atmospheric studies, compositional studies. The iteration of all of these things become real time. By doing previs for Akuma in Unreal, that means we were able to build upon what we'd already done. We had a completed film before we even shot anything. We knew exactly where all the cameras were, we knew the length of sequences, how the edits were going to work, and because of that we never had to start anything again. We literally just built on top of our own previs. So that previs evolved into the, the, the final look of the film. And because of that, it really makes you feel that the end product is your true representation of the best you can do. And that's what Unreal is giving to filmmakers now. So MetaHumans was the perfect fit really for this. It's, it's amazing seeing the, the technology develop over the years. And just being able to animate and work with those characters is incredible. 
and now everybody can do it. Everybody has access to these tools. So the MetaHuman project was really, it's, it's the perfect fit for, for Vigon. It allows us to very quickly get an incredibly high quality cinematic level character um, rendered in real time onto the screen, which is just stunning. So with MetaHumans now in place and accessible, we had the missing piece. We had that missing piece uh, that we so desperately needed to start producing original content on very tight deadlines. And that's where Akuma came from. The idea that over a very short period of production time, we could plan, produce, edit a film. And it's been a, a crazy experimentation to see if that's actually possible, but it's one that has shown us the future of real-time virtual production. We will no doubt see many, many instances of metahumans being used across the industry, but you know, I was really interested in seeing something used in context, used in production, used in, in an environment, and once again, in a really interesting story. I think this space is really exciting because in the next you know, few years, the next five years, we're gonna see more and more content created using uh, you know, traditional game engines. Um, and opening up the possibilities to a whole new generation of, of storytellers, um, creating cinematic quality content, but far more cost effectively, far more efficiently, and you know, allowing the cross creative possibilities, if you like, to, to broaden. It's, it's really interesting space right now. The big moment of Akuma is, is clearly the fight scene. It comes at the apex of the film. You know, it's the third act. It's the thing we all went into this project to do. Um, which was to have a fully mo-capped samurai on samurai fight. Not just a short fight either, a, a lengthy choreographed fight. And it, it's possibly one of the most fun times I've ever had on a production, even though I was doing it all completely remotely. Seeing that happen at Vicon um, was one of the best days I've had on a shoot. And the reason it was like that and the reason the quality of the work we got is because of how professional Vicon approach um, productions like this. There are moments when I'm working on it, I forget that it's digital because Unreal, Raytrace and Vicon combined have just created something that I think anyway um, is really going to start to change cinema. And I'm so excited for Vicon to be at the cutting edge of that because the Shogun software clearly is one of the best.